we did an activity where we learned about the law of reflection. All right, and we saw that when you had a mirror and you had a ray coming in <coughs> bouncing off the mirror, the incident ray coming in leaves at an angle equal as a reflected ray. All right, what is this line straight up and down, Mr. Steele? Um, normal. Excellent. Normal. The speed of light depends on the medium it travels in. When we were using the mirrors for the law of reflection, we just used air. Now to see refraction, we need to have light travel through different uh, mediums. Air is a substance that fills this room. Water is a substance that fills this fish tank right here. So two media that we're going to use that we can show light going through is air and water. Now when this happens, we get the bending of light. So we have air, uh, we have water, and we have glass. And uh, different things you can look at here. This is mineral oil. And as light travels through this mineral oil, you can see the image is turned backwards because of this round shape to it. The light is bent in such a way that it crisscrosses, and we're going to see that in a little bit when we talk about lenses and curved mirrors uh, next week. So you guys can pass this around. You can also see the same effect if you show this round piece of glass. If you hold it up and you look at it, will you describe to me what the image looks like as you look through this round piece of glass? Yeah. Not this in the middle, the people. Look, uh, look across, Ed, wave. Oh, the people. Can you see Ed on the other side? Oh, sure. You do? It bubbles in the light. You might have to. I can see her red shirt. You can see her? And what does uh, her image look like? Oh, um, upside down. Upside down, very good. Uh, it might be very difficult to see this, but if we look through here, and uh, you might see, can you see anybody yet? Yeah. Yeah? Do they look upside down? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Uh, this is something else. The refraction of light in such a spherical way uh, can cause images to invert or turn upside down. You guys can look at this. Uh, don't drop it. It's glass, obviously. But you can just look through it, and at a certain angle, you can see everything in the room. Uh, it looks smaller. Fish tank, if you've ever looked at a fish tank, if I look at this fish tank at an angle, it looks like there's a mirror in the back, doesn't it? Anyone ever notice that? Yeah. All right, if I look at a fish tank, if I look here, it, I see all you guys instead of seeing what's on the other side. Liar. That is, come here, Mr. Liar Man. All right, come here. Look right here. No, no. How many fingers am I holding up? Uh, Jamie, Jimmy, how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Two. How many? You can't see. Do me, I do. He can see from way over there, but you can't see from here. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Five. Now, how many? One. Jimmy, how many? Four. Look at him. You see. All right. This is the principle that internal reflection. Is, uh, is going on this critical angle. All right, if you look through the water and look through the glass, everything's fine. But if you try looking at an angle, what happens is the light bends a little bit, and then when it hits here, it can't escape out that way and simply reflects back. It bends, when it hits the glass through the water, it bends back, and you see the light coming from here. All right, we need something to for the light to reflect off of, right? So like in the air, I got this can of, uh, of, of liquid smoke, so you can see these laser beams, right? I can use the pocket one too. Right? So we can see these laser beams. Now, can you, can you see in the water? Can you see the laser beams? Yeah. Can you see the beam in the water? Yeah. Uh, now, you guys know what cornstarch is? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you talking about cornstarch. Right. Where do they make cornstarch? Over there in that factory. Yes. Corn products. This is Argo High School, and this is Argo cornstarch. 
All right, so this lab demo is brought to you by the fine people of Argo Corn Products, making corn products for over 100 years. <laughs> Nothing says corn like corn products. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you're now, making it done, sir. That's why that water dirty. No, there was nothing in it yet. Oh. It was just it was just bubbles actually, yeah. just in there. All right. Now what I'm doing here, uh, that can of smoke you saw, that can of smoke you saw was putting particles in the air. Now cornstarch has this wonderful thing where it uh, suspends itself equally, distributes itself in water. So the more cornstarch you put in here, or flour will do something similar to this. This is uh, this is like a smoke-filled room now. All right, can you see that? So that's like when a firefighter goes through a room and they splash Yeah, kind of like when a firefighter goes through rooms, and it might clear up a little bit better. All right, now uh, refraction is we see we see the beam of light going in here, and now look at it bend. You see that? Yeah. Now look also, it's also reflecting. Remember the law of reflection? Part of it reflects off the surface. Um, we see here, all right, all the way this way, all the way back over here first. Uh, this is our reflection. Remember the law of reflection states that if an incoming ray, the ray of incidence, is reflected off a material such as glass, the outgoing ray, the reflected ray, contains the same angle. So the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. All right, this is the law of reflection. Oh, this is internal reflection. You see that? It won't, it won't, it won't break through. It goes through the glass and it won't break through Why is it on to the, the surface. It's bouncing off the glass. That's why it's over there. You see this right here? That's internal reflection taking place right there. When it crosses this, part of it will be reflected and part of it will be refracted. Caitlin, what does that mean, refracted? What's happening to this ray? And then what happens to it? And what do we call that as a definition? <laughs> The bending of light. So refraction is the bending of light. We have the reflection, which is the bouncing of light, and we have refraction, which is the... Now, we have examples here. If you could uh, click on water right there, uh, and then move your... Use this dot over here to move this off. Here. There you go. All right, this is what we're seeing with water. All right? This is our source. If we go straight up and down, then we have a uh, normal, and it doesn't bend because it's going straight in. I'll start moving it this way and I'll slowly stop right around here. All right, now as we come down here, we see this is the straight line, and this is the bending or refraction. Now, uh, we can also see here, here's fiber optics right here. So if I turn this on, uh, if I turn this on and we see our laser beam going on, uh, fiber optics will take this. If you look in here, you can see the laser bending around inside the light. You guys see that? Instead of escaping way over to there, it continues to bend. It continues to bend inside. This is how fiber optics work. All right, this is how fiber optics work. That's the difference between sitting at an angle that the light actually comes out, and then move it up just a little bit more, and looking at an angle where the light can't escape outward. That causes an internal, um, internal reflection. 